Yo, Vesantir. So they did have a campfire chat. That's what they call it. A uh, live stream for Diablo 4 uh, happening on June 16, 2023 at around 11 a.m. Pacific time. And I took down some notes of the summary of the stream. So I'm just going to do a quick overview. And so number one, they're buffing the EXP and or reward to Nightmare Dungeons. So the Nightmare Dungeon won't actually get more dense, but the monsters will have like more EXP compared to the regular dungeons. So each, each monster you kill will have more EXP, like I guess bonus EXP or something. And they're going to modify the, the sigils that will help you teleport to the Nightmare Dungeons directly. So they're saving the, the time for efficiency of you having to travel to that Nightmare Dungeon. And now they also have um, increased visibility for the dangers on the ground, like the lava or whatever, or explosions. Blight, I think that's what they mentioned. And they're also going to remove Fog of War for new characters, like your ults and everything. Everything is already going to be there. The waypoints will still be grayed out. You still got to go and get them so you get more renown and stuff like that. Um, they unfortunately did not like save renown from one to the other, but they will have a renown pre-filled for your area that you already discovered. So make sure to go over every map and everything. You don't have to rediscover everything. Everything's already be there. There's no fall of war. So you get that renown for that discovery. And before it would just alter a little, it would give you the, the stat points that are permanent that carried throughout the characters. But now you can also get the renown from getting those characters already pre-filled. So it's pretty much like the first one or two tiered automatically refilled and then you start a new season or whatever, a new character. Then they mentioned moving gems to the mineral section, the mineral material section. <laughs> so uh, save up inventory space and stash spaces. Um, so you don't have to put them in there all the time now. And they also get increased the material cap. I never got to the material cap, but then the people are like super high level, like 90 plus or whatever. I'm almost there. Um, they, they have a material cap. So they're going to increase that. They're looking into reworking resistances. And right now, armor is technically the best thing because it works for your physical resistance and then half of it into elemental resistance. They're looking into that. So um, that's going to be noted for the future. And they're currently also investigating on dying from teleports because people die and teleport on during hardcore and even dying while they're, ev they're immune, but they're still getting, they're, they're getting killed still. So they're looking at that, those are bugs, and they have this scroll of escape, but I call it like a cheat death, that will passively trigger on death and teleport you to town. Uh, this will help you if you were to get DC'd, disconnected um, while playing hardcore. This is pretty much just on hardcore only. Um, so uh, you can have that one life, life save thing. <laughs> Next, they talk about world bosses caches will be open no matter what level. Because right now, uh, at level 70, I can get like a level 82 cache and I can't open it. Now that I'm 80 something, I can open it. Um, but before you just have it in your stash, you couldn't do anything with it. So they're going to make it that you can open no matter what level. But you may still get gear higher level than you. So you still can't equip it. But at least you can like get it out and maybe check if it's good or not. And then you can like dismantle it. I mean, salvage it or whatever. And they also mentioned best buffs to all upcoming classes they didn't mention specifically but it's like part of the 13 page thing i don't know including stability issues and stuff like that so they now mentioned that there's a they nerfed the dungeon so then there's a baseline established for the mob density so now things will just like go up from there is what they tease that and then they will look into changing character appearances in the wardrobe like change the face and hair because if you get a haircut you didn't technically roll a new you right <laughs> And they're looking into the side quests that you've already done. So some kind of like codex or whatever, a uh, log or whatever, what the, the quests you've been done. They're looking into that. And also we're looking into the item power, um, maybe making more visible or something. I don't know. Because then they talked about how it's not based on your item level, but more of the item power. So they're still looking into that stuff. Um, they're fixing the druid loot table of getting other class uniques. Like I'm a druid, I get barb uniques randomly, and I'm like I have a bunch of them now. Uh, they're still looking into social features, like looking into groups, like if your friends offline or whatever you want to just pair up with randoms. They're looking into that, and also PC performance and graphic issues. 
and then they're also keeping an eye on like partying from party members while going to town because right now you just have to teleport to town to go to your uh teammates they're looking at that to see what they can do with it um i guess in case people like abuse it or whatever i don't know and they're also looking into search tabs uh quality of life changes you can search through dungeons um they do have a planned patch that's pretty chunky is what they're saying coming up soon with most of these so uh look forward to that and that's a quick review and if you guys want to see this uh i'll post this also in the description or you can check out the tweet and yeah later days <laughs>